thank you friends for joining me here on this channel um in today's video i'm just going to be putting everything in short and this video is about how to configure um, a ps3 controller which i recently um bought from a shop and i've seen a lot of people commenting and uh, finding a solution to um, this problem since um, a ps3 controller is meant for ps3 and not for pc so I made this video so that I could help some people who are finding it very difficult to do this kind of configuration. So let's get right into it. Okay, before you continue, there's something you're gonna need. Um, you're going to um, have uh, a connector, something which is a uh, more like a USB cable which you can connect um, to your um, controller and to your PC or laptop so actually after connecting all you need to do is to go to settings on your laptop or computer or desktop or whatever it is and just type in settings so um, go to devices and you have devices and printers and after this you're going to see um, this um, here oh, sorry you're going to find something like PlayStation 3 controller and not this controller so you're not going to find anything like this here I already made everything certain all the configurations that's why I'm having this one here so basically I'm going to show you how you're going to get everything done so after you're having this here it doesn't mean your controller is working fine everything is perfect you just have to install some drivers and other stuff on your computer before you can just start using the com um, the controller on your pc so um, you have to go to this website i'll put the link in the description here at this website and you're going to download a software called sp2k so uh scp2k sorry and there's a software and you just have to click on the download and the software is going to download for you so just let me download the software and let's see how it's done so now um, I'm going to download this software very quick and uh, okay no problem so uh, okay so um uh, now we are done with the download and we're going to install this software i already installed this software on my laptop so actually uh, i'm not going to install it again but just going to show you how it's done that's all so this software runs and what well, is it okay so now you just have to make sure you, you, you um, check everything here make sure everything is checked and you're going to install anyway I just installed it already that's why I'm having this um, yeah so now after installing um, you're going to have it on your desktop in addition with some software but this is the software you're going to need and you need to run this sp uh, i'm sorry scp toolkit here and after running you need to um but anyway you have to make sure you're connected to your game controller you, you've connected your game controller to the to your laptop or your pc so um here just uncheck this because there is a dual stock um four is for ps4 and this is for ps3 which is what we are doing right now and it said install bluetooth drivers or actually in case you're having a bluetooth device or let's say your laptop is having a bluetooth then i recommend you you take this option here so you choose 
um, you click on this drop down and um, it says choose Bluetooth dongle to install so what you need to do is to look here and uh, find um, the name of your Bluetooth so actually I'm using the Bluetooth from my laptop you see I'm using the Bluetooth from my laptop so I'm going to select Intel wireless Bluetooth so I selected this Bluetooth and for some reasons just have to add this uh, sorry PS3 controller just add this one to it so then you, you come back to um, choose dual stock three controllers to install so then you select uh, um, here you see you select PS3 uh, I'm sorry PlayStation 3 controller so you select this one and now you click on the install so actually um, after the installation you're going to have uh, a new uh, um, you're going to have something here which should be an Xbox 360 um, controller so actually the windows that we're using actually don't recognize this um playstation controllers but actually it recognized all controllers as um, xbox 360 controllers so actually this your controller is a ps3 controller but yet the, the your, your computer sees or find it to be um xbox 360 controller so now you go to properties here and your sorry so well everything is working well and just wanna have to check some few things before we move on so uh, let's go to controller settings here and you can see we have the status being okay and if you go to properties um, we can test our controller here and see everything is working you see all buttons are working very well uh, and everything is set and everything is cool to use perfect so anyway after installing the um the, your your controller from this driver so yeah you when you turn on your controller it automatically connects to your laptop bluetooth since that's the dangle that you chose so anytime you turn on your controller it automatically connects to your laptop bluetooth so that's it you don't just need to worry about anything you just have to make this configuration then you're good to go so thank you guys for watching this video i'm um, sorry there's another thing here okay so Hope you like subscribe to this video and comment as well because if you don't know how to or if you're finding it very difficult to um configure this thing and you don't comment well then we won't get to know the problem you're facing so i recommend you comment and share your experience with us thank you very much